Good day. It's me and Pogodellini from the Hunter Valley, 150 k's north of Sydney in Australia. Now we are here today to show you a little, very simple dish with, uh, made with octopus. I don't know if you've ever cooked octopus at home, but uh, there are a couple of very simple steps to make it very tender and create a very light dish. Now we have some octopus that is just finished to boil here now. And I have some oil here which is already starting to be heated. I'm going to show you one simple thing, which is one of the nonna's uh, trick. It's a little cork. Now it didn't fall in there by mistake, but it's been put there to make the octopus tender. Don't ask me why, but it's uh, got a property of actually making the octopus so soft in comparison to any other octopus that you could cook without. Here we go. Beautiful extra virgin olive oil. This needs to be drained very well because, as you know, the oil and the water don't really like each other. And then straight in. Now, as I always say with the seafood, it's very important not to burn the garlic. Therefore, we are going to add it a little bit later on. What I'm going to do is a little splash of white wine. This one from the Hunter Valley also. Fantastic. Let it sizzle. Remember that the octopus is cooked already and it's hot already so it doesn't really need to get overcooked at this stage. Therefore we are going to add the garlic right away. Tomato, depending if you want to keep the tomato fairly raw or if you want to soften it up a little bit more you decide when to put it in. Some uh, recipe require the tomato to actually go at the end and keep it very fresh, more for summer dishes. But if we put it in at this stage, it will start softening up and spread a little bit of the juice around too. Fantastic. Now, here's the, was the, 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 the skill of mastering how to saute a dish comes in, but you can do it with a, a wooden spoon. Fantastic. Parsley will play a very important part here as well. As you can see, the wine and the olive oil start to get a certain creaminess there that is going to coat all the octopus. And we just adjust with salt and pepper. Beautiful. We just let it simmer for a little while. Just gonna quick jump and get a plate. Which we are gonna serve it on. Now I could eventually put some salad on here or some rocket and then pour all of that hot in the cold rocket salad there. You wouldn't need any dressing whatsoever. Let me just show you. Fantastic. But if you don't want to put any salad, it's fine. We're just gonna go like this. The dish is ready. It's hot. Turn the flame away and we just pour it right in the middle. Fantastic. Octopus first, the tomato on top. Absolutely beautiful. And this is our dish. You can put a little bit of parsley on top of that just to enrich the color. But for the time being, the dish is finished. This is Mirko Villini from the Hunter Valley. And as they say in Australia, see you later, mate. <laughs>